how you felt with us pd classes so wonderful sir sir i have seen very improvement in myself sir Okay. Sir, starting you took the test. Uh, sir, <laughs> I was bad at it. <laughs> sir, uh, I have improved. I have also seen good confidence in you. Very good. Yes, sir. Chelly, good morning, Doctor Pooja. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Wonderful. Okay, Doctor Pooja. Yes, First of all, you tell me about your strengths, your strong points. Yes, sir. Sir, my strength are that I am compassionate. I am hardworking. and i am patient person person and uh, and sir uh, i have uh, uh, i am calm person and uh, i am sportive as well okay what are your hobbies yes sir, sir my hobbies are uh, paintings and uh, making different kind of arts and yoga and sir i have interest also interest in playing sports different sports sir tell about surgical instruments sterilization Yes, sir. Surgical instruments, sir. Uh, there are different techniques via a surgical instrument can be sterilized. The most basic at a household level, there is boiling, uh, and uh, and at the hospital level, sir, we uh, autoclave and uh, hot air oven, sir, can be sterilized through this. Okay, tell about CKD stages. Yes, sir. Uh, CKD stand for the chronic kidney disease. there are five stages in uh, uh, chronic kidney disease stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 oh. and stage 5 so these stages are categorized on the basis of the urine output so urine output at stage 1 uh, urine output more than uh, 90 ml um, uh, more than 90 ml per uh, in uh, more than 100 ml per uh, sorry sir more than 100 ml per uh, uh, 24 hour is uh, stage 1 stage 2 is a uh, 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 at more than uh, 80 to 100 uh, ml per uh, 24 hour it's stage 2 and stage 3 is 50 to uh, 80 and sir uh, stage 4 is less than 30 uh, per uh, uh, 24 hour and stage 4 is sir oliguria or uh, less than 10 ml uh, 10 to 20 ml uh, in 24 hours So you are not audible, sir. You are not audible. Now I'll be audible. Yes, sir. Okay. How serious is stage one kidney disease? So stage uh, one kidney disease uh, is serious if not treated on time. But it is mild. It is, uh, it is it, mild, right? It is mild. Yes, sir. It is mild, and it if not treated at time, it can progress to uh, further stages, and it can also lead to death. Okay. Okay. What is the normal creatine level of for stage three kidney disease? Uh, sir, I am not able to recall, sir. Okay. Now you tell me about hypertension diagnosis. Yes, sir. Sir, hypertension diagnosis. Uh, uh, when patient uh, come into OPD, uh, he came with uh, various symptoms like headache. and uh, uh, and very systemic uh, like uh, headache or uh, and uh, various symptoms and uh, patient uh, uh, first of all uh, we take the bp we check the bp and uh, if bp uh, comes out more than 140 uh, per 90 then uh, we ask the patient to uh, take rest for some time because okay. it can be because of uh, patient anxiety or maybe he traveled for some distance and uh, after after uh, 10 to 15 minutes we can we can take uh, pish, uh, bp uh, we, we can take again take the B, blood pressure if uh, the blood pressure again uh, greater than 140 by 90 then uh, uh, we can say that he patient the hypertensive but the uh, the method of uh, diagnosis of uh, blood pressure is a uh, 24 hour blood pressure monitoring sir Twenty-four uh, hour blood pressure monitoring. If the patient continue to have the BP of more than one forty by ninety, then the patient can be uh, uh, diagnosed as the hypertensive patient. Okay. What are the calories in daily food items required? 
sir uh, in daily food items sir according to the in females who, uh, who are uh, having the sedentary lifestyle sir 23000 uh, 2300 kilo calorie uh, per day is required and the patient and the patient who is uh, having uh, working uh, lifestyle sir uh, there is there can be 2700 kilo calorie per day required and and the and the female who are uh, excessively working sir so uh, there is 3100 uh, kilo calorie per day required and in males Sir, males, uh, there is uh, more calorie required than female. Uh, in sedentary lifestyle uh, meal, uh, there is uh, 27 kilo, kilo, 2700 kilo calorie per day is required. And for uh, normal uh, workers, uh, sir, there is uh, 3100 kilo calorie. And for excessive working uh, meals, uh, like in laborers and uh, who work uh, excessive during their day, uh, there is 3500 kilo calorie per day is required. Tell me the types of shocks and in management. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, shock is the shock is defined as when the body, the tissue is uh, not uh, when the blood flow through the tissue is not able to um, uh, uh, fulfill the demand of the tissues, the oxygen demand of the tissue. The shock uh, can be categorized uh, can be categorized into four types. Sir, um, uh, hypovolemic shock. Cardiogenic shock, neurogenic shock, and the septic shock. Sir, in hypovolemic shock, hypovolemic shock can be uh, due to because of the uh, dehydration or in in trauma Little cases. Trauma cases. Yes, sir. Blood volume is low, uh, either because of the uh, dehydration or because of the trauma, because of excessive blood loss. So, sir, in hypovolemic uh, shock, there is a fluid therapy is required. Sir, um, uh, we. Uh, uh, insert the large board IV cannula and uh, we give a uh, large amount of food, sir. And uh, also in cardiogenic shock, cardiogenic shock, may what happen? Uh, the heart is not able to, uh, the cardiac output is less, so heart is not able to uh, pump the blood. So in these patient, uh, we uh, give the inotropic drugs like dopamine and the beta blockers and uh, these and the epinephrine also. And sir, uh, in uh, neurogenic shock, neurogenic shock may uh, the blood vessels goes into uh, there is a sympathetic uh, parasympathetic overactivity in which the blood uh, blood vessels goes into the dilatation phase, so which leads to the reduced BP and uh, decrease the blood flow to to the tissue. In this case, um, we can give the drug which. Uh, which decrease the parasympathetic activity and increase the sympathetic activity like the uh, we can give the alpha blockers and uh, the parasympathetic drug uh, and the vago vagolytic drugs like the like inotropes or uh, sir epinephrine these are the sympathetic drugs and in septic shock septic shock is because of the infection widespread infection uh, in our blood sir in septic shock we can give uh, like flu therapy and uh, flu uh, flu therapy and sir antibiotics and uh, inotropic drugs also sir. one more there is anaphylactic shock uh, caused by yes, allergic reactions yes sir anaphylactic shock uh, uh, is a there are two four type of uh, no sir Next anaphylactic thing. shock is because of allergic uh, reaction yes, it is a ige ige mediated uh, uh, type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in this uh, uh, there are uh, there is hypotension tachycardia and uh, so in these patient uh, we first of all uh, we uh, we uh, allergens sir uh, we try to uh, keep away the patient from allergens uh, which is allergic to the patient and uh, and uh, ige uh, anti ige drugs and uh, flu therapy also and sir uh, antihistaminics sir antihistaminics are the drug of choice in uh, anti allergic patients wonderful allergic shock now tell me the side effects of tb drugs yes sir sir uh, tb drugs uh, there is a first line drug sir First line drugs may like rifampicin, isoniazid, ethambutol, and the uh, and the pyrazinamide. So rifampicin, uh, uh, first of all, rifampicin causes uh, the peripheral neuropathy, most common cause. It decreases the vitamin B6 level and causes the peripheral neuropathy. And it also uh, uh, changes the color of our urine. It uh, uh, orange colored urine because of 
some reactions sir and uh, uh, and isoniazid isoniazid uh, also cause peripheral neuropathy and uh, weight loss and sir it also uh, it is uh, hepatotoxic also and sir uh, ethambutol ethambutol has a side effect on eyes sir uh, they cause the uh, yes sir uh, on eyes blood uh, vision yes sir they cause blurred vision and uh, sir pyrazinamide cause the hyperuricemia matlab it can also flourish the gout in uh, hyperuricemic patient it cause the hyperuricemia sir and nausea vomiting and uh, uh, hypersensitivity reaction these are common to all sir tingling numbness burning of hands feet yes sir persistent yes, sir. Like this... fatigue fever abdominal tenderness bruising yes, bleeding and uh, that change in vision and all this Yes, sir. Okay, now tell about Collier's fracture. Uh, yes, sir. Collier's fracture is most common seen in the females uh, uh, who are uh, menopausal females, uh, and uh, most common history is the fall in the outstretched hand. And sir, in Collier's fracture, uh, there is a fracture of uh, radius, radius, uh, radius uh, bone. Yes, sir. Sir, there is and a uh, extra, which nerve is extra damaged. Artist. in collis fracture sir uh, in collis fracture uh, there median, is the median, median nerve median nerve, median nerve damage okay tell me about mountain sickness yes sir so mountain sickness is also known as the high altitude sickness uh, in patient uh, uh, at high altitude there is a uh, sir uh, the, uh, there is because of the uh, high uh, low oxygen pressure at high altitude the uh, patient is unable to supply the need of the uh, oxygen in the body so in at high altitude there is a reactionary patient is uh, acclimatized uh, at acclimatized at high altitude oh. sir in which uh, there is hyper hyperventilation and uh, can be patient can also feel nausea and vomiting and dizziness and at high altitude uh, what happen our kidney uh release uh, erythropoietin hormone which increase the rbc secretion uh, so which uh, increase the, so that uh, the low oxygen pressure can bind to lot money uh, rbc and uh, fulfill the demand of the body so uh, high rbc and sir drug of choice for the uh, uh, mountain sickness is the acetazolamide yes yes while ascending it is uh, your drug and uh, dexamethasone yes. generally should be reversed for treatment yes sir and symptoms as you told headache lethargy drop in performance lack of coordination insomnia appetite uh, loss yes, dizziness and all this yes sir okay now you tell me about Foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, these are the part of the gastrointestinal tract. So, foregut is uh, includes our mouth and uh, esophagus and up till the stomach, sir. And uh, midgut from uh, duodenum to the uh, ileum uh, to the duodenum to jejunum is uh, midgut. and uh, from the ileum to the our anal canal is the hindgut so include hindgut now tell me about fistula yes sir so fistula fistula is a tract which forms between our uh, uh, any our internal opening like through the git tract or uh, and it op opens to the uh, skin outside outside on the skin and sir uh, the fistula is uh, and the uh, diagnosis of the fistula is mri and uh, the treatment is fistulectomy okay tell me about down syndrome yes sir sir down syndrome is a genetic most common genetic disorder and it is because of the uh, trisomy of uh, chromosome number 21 sir uh, there are features in down syndrome uh, there are multiple features like the uh, semen crease and uh, 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 
the uh, simian trees and uh, sir uh, um, and uh, the the uh, canthus of the eye the down sloping canthus of the eye low set ears and uh, and the patient is uh, also mentally retarded uh, uh, and uh, sir most common cause uh, yes sir that i have told uh, 21 uh, chromosome trisomy sir okay have you felt with us pd classes so wonderful sir sir i have seen a lot more many very improvement in myself sir okay sir starting you took the test uh, sir <laughs> i was bad at it <laughs> sir uh, i have improved i have also seen good confidence in you very good yes, sir okay now you tell me about arterial fibrillation yes sir sir atrial fibrillation is the when heart uh, atrial fibrillation when the uh, the heart rate is more than 200 uh, beats uh, per minute sir sir atrial fibrillation uh, can be because of the uh, uh, dysfunction of the sa node because sa node is a pacemaker of the heart and if the it increase the pace to uh, so that heart can uh, beat for more than 200 beats per what minute what are the organs and, affected by uh, atrial uh, fibrillation yes sir sir atrial fibrillation uh, sir the, first of all heart itself and second uh, if it is not uh, if it not uh, it cannot pump uh, blood uh, uh, through it fullest so lungs can also be affected and sir it can also lead to emboli sir emboli can uh, lodge into uh, throughout the body sir right. thromboembolism venous sir. venous thrombo lung is a risk venous thromboembolism the main organs yes. are brain lungs intestine spleen or kidney yes sir yes sir through embolism sir yes. em it can travel through a uh, different organ and what its primary cause uh sir it of atrial fibrillation yes sir uh, sinoatrial node dysfunction changes uh, by is most often caused by changes to the heart's tissue or the electrical signaling signaling that helps the heart beat can it be cured uh, sir uh, yes sir it can be cured sir it can be managed but, but no, i managed, think it it, is, not, it can be it cannot be completely cured right Yes, sir. Okay, what is IMNCI? What it is? Sir, IMNCI is the integrated uh, management of neonatal, neonatal child, and childhood illness. Child illness, yes, sir. In an Indian, sir, it includes WHO, UNICEF. Yes, sir. Sir, it includes pneumonia, diarrhea, dehydration, and uh, Yes, sir. sir. What are the main five diseases which comes under uh, IMNCI? Sir, uh, diarrhea. You told right. You told right. Pneumonia, diarrhea, pneumonia, malaria, measles, and malnutrition. Yes, sir. Much. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me about uh, forceps delivery? Yes, sir. So forceps delivery, uh, when uh, the vaginal, when it is, uh, when the vaginal delivery is not, uh, when it is not, the when the fetus doesn't come normal out delivery. with the help normal vagin, normal vaginal delivery, we can use the for easy uh, passage of the fetus, and the most common, uh, most common, uh, most common causes why we use the forceps delivery is when there is a uh, in cardiovascular disease <clears throat> in cardiovascular disease of the patient uh, so that it uh, it can reduce the third stage of the lab, lab, uh, labor it decrease the time of delivery sir and in also the large baby uh, large babies we can also use the forceps delivery and uh, not but the the baby should not be more than 4 kg uh, in more than 4 kg we we go will we'll go for the cesarean section and sir um, 
the force of delivery are of two type high force of delivery and the low force of delivery when the fetal head stay when the fetal head is at the uh, station 2 plus 2 um, above the uh, plus 2 station we will use high uh, high force of delivery and when the patient uh, is below the pl uh, below plus 2 station we will use the low force of delivery sir and uh, contraindication of the force of delivery is the cephalopelvic disproportion uh, where the female have the small pelvis and if there is a uh, uh, there is a, a bad status of the baby then also we will, then also forcep is contraindicated okay now you tell me some fat soluble vitamins yes sir so fat soluble vitamins are vitamin a d and e Right. And K also, sir. Sir, K also. Vitamin K also is fat soluble. Okay. Tell me about loo management. Sir, uh, this loo question was asked also... from uh, our student Karan during his interview. Yes, sir. Sir, loo is also called as the heat stroke. Sir, in he uh, in loo, what happened because of the uh, uh, high temperature and uh, uh, high temperature, uh, the body not able to regulate the temperature uh, because of uh, because uh, there are many reasons when the body is not sweating. So because of sweating, uh, the uh, temperature cool down, the body temperature cool down. But because of the absence of the sweating, um, the body temperature rises of more than 40 degree or Celsius or uh, 104 degree Fahrenheit. So uh, that uh, leads to uh, dry skin and uh, the body temperature rises and the our pulse also uh, tachycardia pulse and uh, a strong pulse and uh, the body is red hot. So in the management, uh, we we will do the rapid cooling of the body. So uh, 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 cold sponging and uh, or the cold bath. So this is the uh, most important uh, method uh, to manage the loo and also sir um, uh, we can later we can give the uh, paracetamol to uh, uh, decrease the uh, temperature and uh, yes wonderful this question might be asked from him because he belongs to churu so there we know the temperature yes. raises high and uh, there yes. are lots of heat waves might be asked yes sir because of it yes sir Good doctor, I appreciate really answering way and everything. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Brahma. Thank you so much. Sir. I will send you Brahmastra. Yes, sir, Brahmastra. Ultimate thing. Yes, sir. And believe yes, me, sir. when On you 18... listen Brahmastra, you will forget me. You will forget Manoj Sharma is nothing. <laughs> Only Brahmastra is best. Believe me. No, sir. I will not forget you. Thank you. Sir, your words are always with me. Thank you. So during my Brahmastra interview, is also made by me, but uh, you really appreciate it. Everybody loved it. Yes, sir. You apply it and listen it two, three times by gap. Like whenever you listen, again after six hours, you try to listen whenever you get opportunity. You'll find new things always. Yes, sir. But it will teach you how to give interview, how to crack interview. You'll write me, sir, cracked. Cleared, sir. <laughs> like this. Yes, sir. So hopefully. 100%. Should I write for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Sir, uh... I will do it. Me. I can do it. You have yes, sir. I have faith on you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, yes, then sir. enjoy. Whenever you want, need my help, any interview, mock session, I'm always ready for you. What's up? Okay, anytime. Sir. Sir, yes, sir.